Acadia Retirement Village is a boutique retirement village with a strong sense of community, a place to get the most out of life. Our residents find life at Acadia suits them beautifully. The minute we drove in here, I immediately had a feeling of, oh, this is a place for me. I like the, um, the place being a little bit smaller than the normal ones where <clears throat> because it can't expand any further, it um, lends itself to making one get to know everyone sort of thing. The relaxed, friendly atmosphere at Acadia makes life here very enjoyable. You know, you've got that closeness and friendliness of a place like this. And so you can join in, you know, with the rest of them. Acadia has been such a friendly place. I've enjoyed meeting all the, the local people and, and I've made a lot of friends since I've been here and that's been important to me. I looked at a lot of retirement villages before I settled on Arcadia but from the time I came here it just felt right and I forgot to me I, mean, I must mention too that there was a group of residents talking outside in the sun that day and I went over to them and I said, is it, is it nice here? And they said, oh yes, come and join us. <laughs> but apart from that, it felt right. And I liked the central position of it and, and the smallness, it's intimate. And having been here now for three years, I can honestly say that it is the place to be. Because we only have 13 villas and 20 apartments, then it's not a big village. So it's, it's very much a boutique village. Our residents are a community, so when we go out, we can all go out and all participate together and do things. At Acadia, there's a busy social calendar to enjoy if you choose. Some of our ladies play games like Rummy Cub, very keen Rummy Cub group. They have play cards and we, will, uh, we have film afternoons. Gardeners, we've got gardeners, people, people play bowls. and I love all the outings and the facilities that we've got here. I love playing cards, scrabble, rummy cup, bowls. <laughs> um, yes, all the things that we do here. I just love it. The staff are wonderful and we are really one big happy family. With the three Bufa villages in Tauranga, we have developed a combined uh, a men's group which the men meet and do boy things and the ladies group we have speakers and various other activities and guest speakers and fashion parades and going out for lunch. Uh, the, the men take a bus and they go out and do, they've been to the, the port and they've been to the classic flyers and they go out and do their thing and they organise themselves really. And I enjoy going over to the entertainment that Peter organises with the lovely instrumentalists or the choirs or the um, singers that he's brought. So all those times have been excellent. The village van takes resident shopping as well as on a range of weekly van outings. We have made a couple of trips now out to see the cruise ships which have been fun. Another reason I chose Arcadia was of the central location. It's handy to the bank, the post office, and a few shops down the road. And Acadia's central location also means that families can visit often. My son calls in once or twice a week after work, so it's good too. There's also a regular wellness clinic run by our registered nurse. Acadia's chef is well known for his beautiful food. So you have your choice as an independent living person whether you cook your meals or whether you come down to our dining room where a lot of our residents choose to come. For social reasons as well as for a nice meal we have a chef on site. I must confess I haven't been a very good cook and I tended to go to the meals because I find the, the dinners are, are very, very nice that um, are arranged for us. And that's all been very, sp and plus the company at lunchtime, I've enjoyed that. Some residents at Acadia maintain their keen interest in gardening, 
while others enjoy Bupa keeping their gardens beautiful for them. Well, I, I grow my, a lot of my own vegetables. I've got rhubarb and tomatoes in pots where I haven't got enough room in the garden. And I like to grow my greens. I always have my salad every day. In the community itself, the, the concept of village living is that people get on with their own lives and we've got golfers and bowlers and people that go to Probus and people that go to Lyons and people go to the RSA and people that belong to their own outside groups in the community. So it's, a lot of it's about living in a village is, is the security of living here, knowing that if you open your door in the morning somebody will say hello to you and if you're unwell then somebody will notice.